This is an overview of the one page scroll navigation menu for Elementor, where you add a menu like this and you click on it and it jumps to each anchor point. You can also scroll manually and the tooltips will turn on automatically. Let's get started. To get started, drag the bullet one page scroll navigation widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's bullets that know how to scroll once you click on them to a different section on the page. I'm going to show you how you can create those sections, how you can create the anchor points, and how you can connect the anchor points with the different bullets over here. Once you hover over each bullet, the bullet will show a tooltip with the name of the section. So to get started, let's create a new section by clicking over here plus and one column section. Inside of that section, I'm just going to put one heading and I'm going to center that to the center and over here I'm going to write one. In the section settings, I'm going to style and I'll add a background color. I want each one of these to be with a different background color. So let's just choose red for example. And inside of layout, I'm going to choose height, fit to screen. Now, of course, you don't have to do this step. This is just for demo purposes because I want each section to take full height of the screen. Over here in the title, I'm just going to change the color to white. And let's duplicate the section and add a different background color to the next section. And we'll also write over here two. Let's make one last one, duplicate, and go inside of here, style, change the background color, and change the wording, just so we understand with what which, which section represents. I'm going to jump back into the widget, and over here, what I want to do is start going over the settings. So the first setting is for the alignment. As you can see, this is aligned to the right right now and we can decide to align it to the left, just like that. The next part is the space between the different bullets. So you can see you can drag this slider up and now there's more space between each bullet. Inside of the style pane, we can decide what the bullet color is. The active color is once you click on it and the tooltip color is the tooltip that opens once you hover over each bullet. Inside of content, let's open items and see what this consists of. So over here, I see there are one, two, and three. These are the default items. You can add new items by clicking add item. You can delete items. You can duplicate items. Each item is very, very simple. It just has a title and a section ID. So you can see over here, the default section IDs are one, two, and three. And that's actually the IDs we need to give to each different section. So let's click on one of the sections and go into the advanced tab. And over here in the CSS ID, I'll give it an identical ID to the one I gave to the widget items over here. So that's the first one. Let's go for the second one. Advanced two and third one, advanced three. Perfect. So right now, once we click on one of these, it will scroll down exactly like we want it. And the last part of this is actually to what we want to do is we want to make the bullets fixed because we don't want each time to click and scroll down. We want this to be above our sections in a position fixed. To do that, we click on the widget, widget settings, jump into advanced, and over here in positioning, what I'm going to choose is, first of all, width inline auto, just so it won't be so wide and it won't cover parts of our different sections. And the next thing I'm going to do is in position, I'm going to choose fixed. And right now you can see it's already starting to be above our content instead of, uh, instead of uh, being on a separate part, it's actually on a fixed position above our content. So let's click on one of these and you can see now it stays fixed exactly like we wanted. 
What's nice in Elementor is once you change something to be fixed, you can just drag it to the exact position you want on the page. So I'm going to center it to here. And now once we click on each one of them, it will be in the middle, which looks pretty awesome. The last thing I'm going to do is start styling this a little bit because I don't think this gray and black look too good on these different colored backgrounds. So just going to click again on the widget style and in bullet color, I'm going to change my bullets to be a white color, which looks better. The last thing I wanted to show, I'm just going to preview this page in live mode. So let's see that. And the last thing I wanted to show and explain is that actually you don't have to click on each one of these bullets. Even if you scroll down manually, you can see that the tooltip is changing, which is really, really awesome. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.